1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 1 says, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the commandment of God, our Savior, and Lord Jesus Christ, which is our hope. Now, me being a believer in the Godhead, which is what the King James Bible teaches, the word Trinity does not appear in here, and the teaching of the Trinity does not appear in here. Um, but me being a Bible-believing Christian that believes in the biblical Godhead, I look and I say, well, God and you know, the God the Father and Jesus Christ are the same being. Uh, God is the soul, Jesus is the body, Holy Ghost is the spirit, but no problem. The Savior can be, well, there's one Savior for me as a Bible believer. God the Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit are one being. There's one God. If you're a Trinitarian, you got a problem because you got three different persons. But go back to Isaiah chapter 43, verse 11. I'll show you the Old Testament tie-in to what we just read there in 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 1. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 11. I, even I, am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. Um, now, what do you do with that if you're a Trinitarian? If you're a Trinitarian, you believe in three different persons, three different gods, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. They say, oh no, three different persons, but they're all the same God. It's just, logically, it's just so warped. It's so weird, all right? Uh, that's not the Bible, what the Bible teaches about God. But if you believe that, uh, what do you do with it? There's one Savior. And uh, I can look at that and I can say, well, God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ can both be called the Savior, and it's just one Savior. But if you're a Trinitarian, you got a big problem there because you got two different persons there, both claiming to be Savior. It's kind of a problem for you if you believe in the Trinity, but not a problem if you believe in the biblical Godhead.